Welcome to Computer Science 320's midterm practice problems. We're on the intro to problem one. So this problem is called Veni Davidi Vici, and it doesn't matter what the problem is called. Uh, there are lots of silly problem names here. We won't worry about them from here on out. I'm just going to read through the problem description and make any notes that I run across as I go along. Consider the following recursive algorithm called on an array of integers of length n. So we're talking about this recursive algorithm down here. Note, in this particular problem, it is not relevant, but generally if we refer to fourths of an array A with length n that is not divisible by n, the fourths of A won't be exactly n over 4 in length, but each will have length either ceiling of n over 4 or floor of n over 4. Typically, this has no effect on the asymptotic analysis. In other words, we'll divide it up as closely to evenly as we can, but if it's not of a length divisible by 4, then we can't divide it up exactly evenly. It's the same thing we come across with binary search when we want to find the middle element of the array, but if the array is of an even length, there's two elements in the middle, and we just have to pick one or the other to be the middle element. Uh, and then as it says in here, this doesn't affect our asymptotic analysis. So we won't have to worry about that. It says, however, that's not actually an issue on this particular problem. So then our algorithm is KD of A. It takes in an array A. And what does it do? If the length of A is odd, or half of the length of A is odd, we return the first element of A. OK. Otherwise, and then it's got a little note here. This is pseudocode. So if it says note, that's a comment. Uh, it says if we reach here, the length of A is divisible by 4. So is that true? Well, if the length was odd, then it's not divisible by 2. If half of the length is odd, then it's divisible by 2 if we get to this point, but it's not divisible by 4. We're just going to return the first element if that happens. So if the array's length mod 4 is 1, 2, or 3, we're going to end up in this first case, and we'll just return immediately. Otherwise, we're going to drop into this case, and that's why we know the array is going to be evenly divisible into fourths, because its length is divisible by 4. So we'll break it up into the first fourth, second fourth, third fourth, and fourth fourth, and we'll store those in A1, A2, A3, and A4. And then all we're going to do at that point is return the sum of this function, this algorithm, called again on the second fourth and on the fourth fourth. Okay. So that gives us a sense of what's going on in the problem. In the next videos, we'll work on the individual parts.